Hello children, I welcome you all to 5th CBSE poem 2 from the book Gul Mohar and this poem is written by Eleanor Fergion. In this poem, books, it's very interesting lines written by the poet. The poet wants to bring out the importance of books in a man's life. Before looking into the poem, let us see about the poetess, Eleanor Fergion. She was born in London in 1881 and she wrote many children's stories which are like fantasy stories and she became popular both with children and adults. This poem has four stanzas. Let me read the first stanza of the poem for you. What worlds of wonders are our books as one opens them and looks. New ideas and people rise in our fancies and our eyes. The poet, the rhyming words in these stanzas are books and looks. The first and the second line which are in red, they are rhyming. And third and fourth line, it is rise and eyes. So the poet says that book is a magical thing it is a book is a world where lot of wonderful things happen so once a book is read by a child with every page or the turn of every page he looks into a new world he gets new ideas and people become aware and it also help them to awaken and see the world around. They can explore, they can find a lot of information in the book. It's a treasure house of knowledge. That's what he, the poet, is beautifully describing in this stanza. Now coming to the second stanza of the poem. The room we sit in melts away and we find ourselves at play with someone who before the end may become our chosen friend. Wow, these are some so beautiful lines written by the poet. The poet says, though we are sitting in a study room with a book in our hand, but as we read every word goes through our eyes into our brain, what happens? It carries us from into a different world, isn't it? That means books carries us into a different world where each reader has a role or one gets to, they become very much involved in a character that at the end of the book, as they finish reading the book, that book will become his or her best friend and from then on they start loving to read books. They love with books. They love its narration, they love the story, its characters, the imaginary world, it's really a stress buster. So they get a good company though they are all alone in a room and books are said to be the best friend. And coming to the third stanza of this poem, or we sail along the page to some other land or age. Here's a body in the chair but our mind is over there. Here the rhyming words are page and age. Chair and there. You know books really take us to some other land or any time. They can take us in future or in the past. Wherever you want to go it is through books. Okay. So physically you are present. But mentally, we sail out with the world. So books are a good companion. They help us to fly across the world and take us into different times or ages or of time. Our body is present in this world, but mind can travel, imagine, see, taste, touch, fight, feel. It can feel along the narration given in the book. So this is really an adventurous journey. Now coming to the last stanza of the poem. Each book is a magic box with which, which with a touch a child unlocks 
in between their outside covers books hold all things for their lovers so the rhyming words are box and unlock covers and lovers here the poet says that every book is like a magic book it's a magic box it's mag it's m magical it's mysterious you know it contains a lot of you know secrets and it's a treasure house and this treasure house has out covers isn't it so in in between the book all the pages every page is like a treasure and every child has she touches the every page he or she unlocks a mystery or a treasure or a bundle of information that he gets educated aware and he loves so there are different types of books they can be comical educational you know informative and books on space you know medicine everything so everything it's like making man perfect with every step of or every page of reading so book lovers will find it all the fascinating information and stories and adventures inside a book and the poet says that the magical effect is revealed increasingly it falls on the readers as they touch and turn every page of this book through this the poet says that the beautiful lines described by the poet it says that once a person is trapped in this pleasure of reading book even though he is alone he enjoys a lot with a book so that's very beautifully defined and this decides a person or encourages them to read all sorts of books and besides reading is a very good habit to enrich their language and you know speech the rhyming set of words in this poem are books looks rise eyes away play end friend page age chair there box locks covers and lovers now coming to the last part of the the theme of the poem is that there are different types of books but books may be fictional educational poetical or for reference but whatever they are a major part of our life they'll constantly remain that way and in this fast running life it is a way of true escape from one's day to day reality so books are magical it will awaken a man with new ideas to see the world in a different way so though you're sitting with a book in a single room but it is going to make a difference so books play a wonderful job in our lives